Good day, Miss Micaela. Uh, may I ask if I can interview you about reading literature? Yes, of course, you can. Mm, please tell us about yourself. I'm Micaela Kaila B. Pendon, but you can just call me Mika. I'm a third year student in PUP Taguig with a course of bachelor in secondary, major in mathematics. And I'm about 21 years old. Uh, so for the first question, may you, uh, when you hear the word literature, what comes first into your mind? Literature is like literatura, which is a writing form with letters. And when I hear about word literature, I think about written works that are circulating around the world. That is from different countries, depending on the countries. It may be in the Philippines, China, America. That is broadly artistic merit. So what can you say about the phrase, literature is the mirror of society? Mm, the phrase literature is the mirror of the society. Maybe it is because literature reflects the origin of the country. Like in America, there is a literature that are super superheroes because it reflects their societies that they are liberated. They celebrate diversity it tackles something about the country or the bottom origin where they came from. That's why it is the mirror because it reflects, like in the Philippines we have alamat ng ganto, alamat ng ganyan. It is because in the Philippines, Filipinos are curious about where the, um, the thing or the people came from. So for you, what, uh, how do you define literature? For me, in my, wor in my own wordings, literature yeah. is writings, um, specifically considered to be an art. You know how I love art. But in literature, it is an art that is expressed by people in terms of words, like the prose, the fiction, Nonfiction, drama, poetry, and recently, centuries, the definition of literature has been ex expanded, including the, um, let's say, oral literature, the transcribed. Mm, definitely, when you, when I hear the word literature, the first thing that comes into my mind is the collections of anything that are written works that you can find some morals in it that you may apply it in real, real life. Do you think literature is still important today? Hmm. I guess literature is important because if literature does not exist, then our childhood will be boring. Everything will be plain because um, literature is what makes us human. You know what I mean by being human being? Because as human beings are known as linguistic beings, existing, that language is the one that grounds and keeps us as humans. Because literature is an art that you can express your thoughts, you can just tone the atmosphere of the literature. It is up to you. You control everything. So do you think lit literature is still appreciated by the new generations? Yes, maybe just because literature now is in um, evolved in some kind of next gen, like literatures are now expressed in mangas with, you know, illustrations that poke their interest into reading and really excite those um, teenagers and adults, mainly because the literature 
that are now like pocket books, e-books, Wattpad, are basically some writings that people could relate. P people could um, immerse themselves into readings because they feel what the archetype person feels. They feel the atmosphere because you know life is so short so people tend to read books tend to read written works so it's like when you read you travel into some places you experience some feelings that you can um you can mostly express it in a long long time um in this short life but rather you read something so you could feel like you're in that settings or in that feelings of the archetype in the um, literature. So how would you compare classic literature to modern ones? Classic literature and modern ones, I think they both, classic and modern literature both have moral lessons that we could relate but maybe when you say classic it lives for a very long time but in modern maybe they just existed in a short time because in classic it is passed by to next generation next generation until now but in modern as one, something i oh, sorry 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 uh, but what, has something ever changed over the years about the classic and the modern literature um, has some, for you? Something ever changed over the... Maybe, yes. So what changes have you noticed? I have noticed that the modern literature have um, evolved settings like you can include literate, uh, you can include malls in literature because for a bit um last last century we have we don't have malls but now in modern we have malls um park robots that you can add up to modern literature compared to classic ones that only have wooden house wooden buildings wooden something like boat ships Something like some settings that are very, very old. So do you think literature today improved the way better than before or it became worse? Maybe for me, I like the ones that are before because literature before have, um, have broadened my vocabulary. It has more deep words deep meaning deep essence it has more more moral lessons more interesting and it is really deep and widen my vocabulary in english but when we say now lit um literatures now i don't really think that I think literature now is um, some kind of shallow for me compared to what so, I have read that old literature. So for you, it became worse. Yes. The modern ones. Yes. So next question, second to the last. Is okay. literature important to you as a student? If yes, why? And if no, why? Yes, yes. Because when you love reading, it really widen your imaginations. It takes you somewhere else. And if you love reading, you can apply it. And as a student, we, we have some kind of English subjects and reading literature makes you deep, a deep person, an educated person, a very um, let's say shrewd person because some of the literatures have some amazing backgrounds, amazing 
essence that you can apply in real life as a student. So last question, okay. has a book ever changed your life? I have this book called Alchemist. It has a lot of life lessons. I'm still applying it right now. Like if some of the life lessons is there was a boy holding a spoon with um, amount of a uh, small amount of water and the king told him not to spill it but go around the castle. The moral lesson there, if you focus only on um, on a thing that doesn't really make any sense, you will miss out all the fun, you will miss out all the glory, you will miss out all the interesting things around your world. So if you want to enjoy life, you should never focus something on which is really boring and dull for a short time. You could, You should always focus on things that will make you happy. So that's it. That is all for this interview. Thank you, Miss Micaela. Thank you as well. Bye-bye. <laughs>